Yeah, it's kind of. I think I'm in kind of. I'm in a, I'm in a slightly strange uh, uh, position. You know, kind of. Some fans seem to think that the Manitou Preacher's lyrics have always had a certain didactic nature to them. Um, I think what they forget is, you know, singing those songs and putting music to the lyrics that, that I haven't written. It's sometimes been the same experience for me as it has been for them. You know, say if I've been writing music to a song like Yes, which is a Richie lyric, you know, there is so much in that song that I can't really connect to, if I were to be honest. Um, that kind of like, you know, I can't deny that it was a learning experience for me as well. You know, kind of writing music to that lyric and singing the lyric. So in a strange way, you know, I kind of, my experience as to singing some of Nick, Nick and Richie's lyrics has been closer to a fan's experience of listening to them than they might think. Um, for me personally, when I did the, when I did the solo album, I found it hard, I found it easier to write from things that I'd experienced. Um, and I think, you know, Nick and Richie sometimes write, they've written about things which is, has, the, has the essence of what might be a great notion, you know, an idea, you know, extrapolating upon an idea. Um, I don't really feel as if I can do that when I write a lyric. I kind of tend to write from some kind of experience. Um, but Nick and Richie are much, much, much different people when they come to write lyrics, I think. I think they are much more comfortable when they kind of delve into the, into the, air, into the ether and try and figure things out for themselves, whereas uh, I'm not quite so confident to deal in abstracts like that. But, um, if I were to write a lyric for the Manix album, you know, it would be, I think it would stick out, but that wouldn't be such a bad thing, I don't think.